it's time, get up! What? Where are you going? With you, at all. But Paul, don't I help you the papers? I mean, you should be glad and I'm willing to come. After all, who's other boys with little sister get out at 5.30 in the morning to help him lock heavy old papers? Not one, at least none that I know of. Anyway, I... I said no! N-O. Well, I certainly can't understand why. It's very simple. First of all, you can't keep up with me and I always have to be waiting with you. And second of all, I got into trouble with Mr. Lewis the last time you came with me. Now that wasn't my fault. How was I supposed to know you were standing right next to a puddle of water and the paper just happened to land in it? No one can see a thing over that high wall. But I told you not to throw it there. I told you to stick it through the wire in the gate. So you want to see your little sister get eaten by killer dogs? They were just being playful. How come they were just being playful to me? And when you describe your so-called paper root escapade to the boys, they are ferocious animals. Well, I... Paul! Leslie! What is going on in there? Now you see what you've done? You woke up daddy! That's not... That's not fair. You blame me on everything just because you're bigger. Oh, uh, all right, you can come, but try to keep up with me. I haven't got all day, you know. Last one out is rotten egg. Why, you little? It's a gift to treasure When good friends get together A smile or two well shed Means so much more Than material Success brings There's more worth living for All the tears and laughter Stay with you ever after And through it all You learn a thing or two Good morning, Paul. I see you have some company. M morning, Atlas. Good morning. So you helping again this morning, hmm? Paul, you should be thankful for having such a loving sister. Loving sister? My foot. She only wants to come because I usually stop at the Gibson so she could play with their new puppies. And what about you? As if I'm the only one with an inferior motive. That's ulterior motive, dummy. Ulterior motive. Well, whatever. Atnas, you know why he doesn't want me to come along? Because he and that stuck up Jared McLean going and have a secret meeting. Oh. How you know about that? That's my business. Okay, if that's the way you want it, you can just go back home right now. No. Oh, come now, children. It's too much of a beautiful morning to be arguing. I agree. Besides, Paul, you know Mommy and Daddy will get vexed if you send me home alone. You won't be alone. Atlas will take you, uh, won't you, Atlas? Uh, uh, well, well, uh, children, listen. Uh, you are home on Christmas holidays. And Christmas is a time for understanding, consideration, and sharing. And you're not doing much of either. Well, it's just Come that. now. Excuse at Christmas time? As I see it, Paul, you have a friend that you don't want to share with your sister. And Leslie, you're not showing much consideration for your brother's feeling either. So, listen to what I've just said to you. Anyway, I've got work to do. So, have you. 
These papers wouldn't deliver themselves, you know. So run along now. Bye. Bye. Bye, Atlas. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. something is wrong. I could tell from the minute you got home yesterday. Come on, tell me, what's the matter? I've been retrenched. What? But you just got promoted six months ago. At the promotion party, your boss remarked how smart you were and how glad he was to have you on their team. Hmm. Uh, how could they let you go? That's very simple. Business is bad. I am... Um, I was the most junior member of the team. My head. It's just not fair. Fairness has nothing to do with it. It's a matter of survival. Theirs. Well, what are we going to do? I haven't thought about that yet. But I do know what we're not going to do. We're not going to tell the children. But when now they're bound to realize something is wrong when you don't go to work. They're bound to ask questions. I'll do what I usually do, all right? Because I'm not going to sit here and do nothing, all right? Where are the aspirants? In the bathroom cupboard. But how can we keep something like this from them? I mean, we're just getting by as it is. With all our financial commitments, they're going to have to make sacrifices. Well, I'll just explain to them that these are hard times. And in any case, this situation won't last very long. There must be some company out there that needs an experienced marketing analyst. Well, I sure hope so. Because my salary alone can't begin to pay the bills around here. Let's wait a few days. Okay. See what we have, see what turns up. And we'll take it from there. For one thing, I'm glad we decided to shop ready for the children's presents. So at least Christmas won't be disappointing for them. behind like that, you know. Suppose I got in an accident or something. Don't worry. I knew where you were all the time. Anyway, hurry up and deliver to the Lewis's. Me? You must be joking. Well, you have the last paper, don't you? Yes, but you said I shouldn't throw it over the wall. I'm certainly not going near that gate. Okay, give it to me. They are probably sleeping in the back anyway. Come on, 
Ryan, what's happened to you? It's Paul, what's about the puppies? I'll take you to see them another time. Right now, Jared is waiting. Jared is waiting, Jared is waiting. Big deal. Well, where is he? Let's go inside. You matter what? So how is he supposed to know we're out there? Does he have extra sensory reception? That's extra sensory perception, dummy. And don't be silly. I'm meeting him around the back in our secret place. Come on, let's go. Shaky fence and Jared is such a big shot. Look, you're coming or you're not coming. Alright, alright. Just because daddy works for his father, it's no reason for him to treat us like this. And you always got all the same stuck up way in school. You know, I can't understand how you could be friends with him. Look, stop saying he's stuck up. How would you like it if you didn't have a mother and your father either always worked late or was out of the country? Oh, poor little rich Larry McLean. It's not funny. And he's okay once you get to know him. He knows all about computers and he's teaching me. But I still think he could be a little nicer to people. Strange, he's never late. You're right about that. Hi, Jared. What's she doing here? It's a long story, but she's okay. This is supposed to be a secret meeting, you remember? Nobody else is supposed to be except you and me. Especially not some bratty girl. Send her home. You, you know? don't have to send me. I'm going. Who wants to be in a stupid old secret meeting anyway? L Leslie, Judd, I can't let her go home by herself. Mom and Dad will have my head. It's okay. Let her go. She'll be all right. Maybe, but I won't be. You don't know my mom and dad. Call me later and we'll arrange another meeting. See you. Bye. Paul, Leslie. Leslie, you can stay if you like. Did you hear him? He said, you hear him? He said you can stay. Why should I stay where I'm not wanted? Because I did you a favor this morning by letting you come. So the least you can do is return the favor by staying. Jared's got this really core cool game that his father bought him. And you can play too. Okay, but don't forget your promise to take me to see the puppies. I won't. Come on. Now it's my turn to be Rambo. You can't be Rambo, you're a girl. It's not fair. I've been dying all over the place for you and Paul. Now it's my turn to do the shooting. Leslie, let it go, you'll break it. No, it's not fair. I didn't get a turn. See, it's almost time for breakfast. We have to leave now. It's, I'll never play with you again, Jared McLean. Is that a promise? See you same time, same place. Sure, but what about her? Somehow, I don't think she'd want to come, if you know what I mean. <laughs>
Done? Yes, Daddy. Anything wrong? No, just a little accident. No problems. Now remember, Marge, my being out of a job is our problem, not theirs, okay? Okay. How come you keep sticking up here all the time and your sister for Pete's sake? You just don't understand. Dad, you think you can explain to us how it is with us fellas? And good morning to you too. Good morning. Good morning. Now what's this all about? Well, well, well I guess the easiest way to put it is that Leslie's just with my friendship with Jennifer Clean. <coughs> I am not. Oh yes. Leslie, what did I tell you about that street thing? Sorry, mommy, it's just that I get so vexed at Paul. Everything is jarred this, jarred that. She have told you she's jealous. Why should I be jealous of a pushy bossy selfish? Leslie, there's bracket. no way to be speaking about anyone. I keep telling her that. And that's enough, Paul. Now can we settle down to a normal, peaceful breakfast? I bet Mr. McQueen doesn't get on like that with you at work, does he, Dad? Well, does he? No, you, you just forget about my relationship with Mr. McQueen. We get along just fine. Now what's this all about? Well, well, well I guess the easiest way to put it is that Leslie is just with my friend with Jennifer McLean. <coughs> I am not. Oh yes. Leslie, what did I tell you about that street thing? Sorry mommy, it's just that I get so vexed at Paul. Everything is jarred this, jarred that. She have told you she's jealous. Why should I be jealous of a pushy, bossy, selfish, Leslie, there is no way to be speaking about anyone. I keep telling her that. And that's enough, Paul. Now can we settle down to a normal, peaceful breakfast? I bet Mr. McQueen doesn't get on like that with you at work, does he, Dad? Well, does he? You don't worry about my relationship with Mr. McQueen. We get along just fine. By the way, don't forget your chores around the house. Okay? There's a lot to be done coming on to Christmas. And your mother is on vacation too. Okay, so you guys get together, help her and cooperate. Okay? Okay. Come on kids, your chores only take a few minutes a day. And anyway, what's that song again? He's making Oh mommy, that's kid stuff. You know I don't believe in Santa Claus anymore. Well done, not if you're a fool. Ha ha ha, big go. <laughs> anyway, I think this song is very appropriate. So, come on. He's making a list. He's checking, checking in twice. Gonna find, find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. It's you. Find anything yet? No. So what you doing in here anyway? You should be on the lookout for mommy. I am. She's outside watering the plants. So I came to see how you were doing. I haven't found anything yet. And don't sneak up on me like that again. A person could get a heart attack or concussion or something. Anyway, let's start looking. I haven't 
The crazier one. It's always before Christmas. Mommy never waits to stay to shop. Our Christmas presents must be in here somewhere. Keep looking. The hinges broke off, and mommy said it was too dangerous to play with it. And, and after that, go and get a chair now. But you well bowl. Go on now. Go on now. When was the last time you played with it? A long, long time ago. I just want to learn a few self-defense moves. My instructor says warming up is very important. You can pull a muscle if you don't. Boy, I wish I could take lessons like you. But my dad thinks it's a waste of time. Okay, I guess that's enough. You stand over there facing me and try to get me up. Okay. It's easy, now you try. What do you do after you do this? You just kick to the stomach like so and punch to the head like so, okay? Yeah, cuff me again. <laughs> Come on, John. I did mean to laugh. It's just that you look so funny. <laughs> this is stupid. My dad was right. By the way, did your dad get a new job yet? New job? What are you talking about? The other day I saw your father's file at home and it's, it had returns written all over it. That's impossible. My dad has been going to work every day. Not at McLean and Barrett, he hasn't. There must be caught some mistake. I'm going home right now to clear it up. But you just got here. Let's go to my room and I'll show you some more tricks on my computer. Jared, this is more important. Okay, see you. Bye. Paul! I thought you knew. Don't worry, Marge. We'll get through it. We have to. This Christmas show will be different. I wonder how our family and friends will react when we tell them we're not having our usual Christmas Eve for our party. Well, they'll just have to accept it. Because there's no way we can afford it this year. I know it's totally out of the question. But I wish there was some way we could have afforded to send for Mother. The children are so looking forward to seeing her for Christmas. And it would have been a good break for her too, from all the treatment. She was so disappointed when I told her. Well. I understand her disappointment, but I know she understands that cashing in a ticket is the only alternative under these circumstances. But what about Paul and Leslie? We're gonna have to tell them and they're bound to suspect something. No, they won't. Not if we handle it. Paul? Yes? 
Is there something you wanted, son? No, nothing. I just tripped on this book. I keep telling Leslie not to leave these lying around. I'll remind her. <laughs>